Thank you very much, Mr. Popov. My name is... Um, I work in the University of Kiru. I'm director of the Center of Strategic Studies and also uh, of an independent research center. I also would like to thank uh, His Excellency Ambassador Popov for organizing this meeting. It's an important meeting. Thank you for the wonderful organization and for the efforts uh, you've contributed to make uh, this meeting possible today. I also would like to thank Russia. Russia has always been very straightforward and open in combating terrorism. Uh, it's put forth a number of very important initiatives to this end over the past 10 or 15 years. And I'm sure that the Strategic Vision Group our group is one of the most uh, important initiatives uh, proposed by Russia for the sake of uh, uh, countering terrorism. W within the uh, scale of our region as well as on a global scale. I also would like to say that we definitely should cooperate in combating terrorism. There is no alternative to this solution. This is a necessity. I also I think that no one should even question the necessity of uh, collaborating and cooperating in combating terrorism. We need to coordinate our counterterrorism activities and operations. Terrorism is a threat that really targets uh, not any single country or, or government but the entire world. Terrorist groups have uh, become international in the modern day world and in our international relations we we should jointly discuss we should jointly jointly discuss this this problem this issue the fact that terrorism has gone global has gone cross border that terrorism is not contained within a single country or region terrorists also have a certain ideology and therefore we must uh, offer another ideology to oppose them we must uh, uh, counter their their propaganda with our ideology their ideology has enabled them to to recruit a lot of uh, supporters uh, including young people to their groups they also are getting a lot of uh, weapons uh, and finance from supporters of course the conflicts in uh, Libya and Iraq uh, uh, they are perpetrated by forces uh, by terrorists who are backed by uh, certain stakeholders certain foreign stakeholders uh, and uh, we need to oppose that on three levels uh, ideology material and finance as for opposing terrorist ideology this is a very important but also complicated task and uh, journalists and the media are to play a very important role in this regard and there are three tasks, three objectives um, here. First of all, reports published in mass media, that's one element. Secondly, material resources uh, invested uh, to support uh, media, particularly broadcast media, and uh, many reporters, many journalists uh, who work in um, in broadcast media or uh, or printed press they also need to to work on this and uh, another important area is the content of uh, those uh, broadcast materials especially video footage because uh, uh, they are very important in combating terrorism Another area for counter-terrorist activity are social networks. 
terrorist groups uh, and extremists uh, actively use social networks to uh, spread their word and uh, recruit new supporters. They use uh, Twitter, Facebook and other social networks. Uh, many political and terrorist groups use social media to attract as many supporters as possible. One more thing I would like to note before I conclude, before I uh, close my speech. As um, journalists, uh, we must be accurate and precise in uh, uh, reporting on news. And we also must have uh, an understanding of what we should report and what we shouldn't, uh, what kind of information we should prevent from spreading. Ambassador Popov also touched upon that um, when uh, he speak about the events in Beslan, the terrorist attack in Beslan, uh, North Ossetia in Russia, uh, when he gave us uh, examples um, uh, on how we, you need to deliver news. When we report on a terrorist attack, we, we should primarily put an emphasis on the victims rather than on the perpetrators, on the groups who organized the terrorist attacks. By speaking about the perpetrators, we actually promote them, we actually advertise them, and um, th we can turn them into, cop into role models for copycats to follow or, or to, to join them. So rather than focusing on the culprits, on the perpetrators, uh, in reporting on terrorist attacks, we should rather focus on the damage done, on the human suffer on human suffering, on victims, as well as uh, material damage done by this or that terrorist attack. We also need to address the legal aspect of um, a terror attack of a crime. We should. encourage people to uh, to be re repulsed by the very notion of violence or terrorism uh, including uh, their awareness of the legal consequences uh, of the uh, legal prosecution they would face in case they do engage in terrorist activity we need to make them aware of of that and finally we also need to uh, report and uh, on the counterterrorism activities uh, or agenda of any specific government or group of states uh, or a regional or international association or coalition. They must be covered uh, in uh, the media. And finally, one more aspect. We definitely need to cast light on the essence of the policies of uh, some of the Western governments, uh, including primarily the United States, as regards their, their support for some of the terrorist groups in our region. We must uh, make public, we must uh, disclose uh, their policies aimed at supporting terrorist groups. We must be vocal about the fact that some of the policies of Western countries, they actually uh, encourage terrorist activities and terrorist groups uh, in our region and beyond. Finally, <laughs> and finally, uh, the role of governments uh, is also a very important uh, aspect, but we must not forget the role of the public, about how the public can influence uh, their government's policies uh, as regards countering terrorism, combating terrorism. Finally, I would like to say that Russia has played a very important role in combating terrorism. And I think that we should speak more about uh, Russia's role. Particularly, we should uh, uh, cover and uh, and talk about the role played by Russian embassies uh, in promoting Russian diplomacy and its uh, peacemaking and counterterrorism efforts. I think we could uh, um, put forth this request um, uh, 
as part of today's meeting because uh, very often mass media tend to downplay and underestimate uh, or distort the role of uh, Russia and its diplomatic missions uh, in uh, combating terrorism. I think that the right kind of coverage for Russia's efforts uh, would be very helpful in uh, countering terrorism. Russia is indeed a leading uh, force internationally in uh, combating terrorism globally. Thank you.